lighters. Or pivots. There is a difference, it's important. So, sliders tend to have a lot of friction. There's a lot of surface contact. It's expensive. It's difficult to build good sliders. You need usually wheels, lots of parts. So, the thing that's tempting that I have been doing is I use pivots. So if I want the weight to go in and out a bit, I've been using pivots. And it's not been working so well. So I got to thinking about it and how did it take me so long to think, uh, to figure this out? It's so simple. So when you have a weight that slides in and out, it's pretty simple forces this way or that way and the rotating force is that way but when you have a pivot it's a little different so when I put a force here it puts a force on the center When I put a force on here, it puts a force here. So pivots don't really work so well on a rotating frame, rotating wheel, whatever. So having a pivot on a pivot doesn't work so well. Let me try to demonstrate. So here works okay because this force pushing against here, but now this changes the balance of the wheel a bit, so it's hard to demonstrate, but here, okay, get the stop, balance, you can kind of see it, the wheel's a bit too heavy to demonstrate, but basically, when I put a force here, it's sort of like there's no pivot at all. That this is just attached to the frame because it puts a force here and here. So a pivot only works if it's on a solid frame. Or more specifically, it has something to push against. So if we're, if this is exactly 90 degrees or exactly the same direction as this, it works perfectly, but even if it's close to the same direction, any force here or here is going to affect the wheel speed this way or that way, and usually it ends up slowing it down. So, sliders, I don't like them. I think they really suck, but you got to consider sometimes you got to use a slider because a pivot, even if it's a really long pivot, it still puts a little bit of force this way or that way, and even if it's close, 90 degrees, you got to think about it.